This week in Latter-day News, a BYU legend is honored by ESPN's prestigious all-time coaching rank. Temples don their winter coats, and the biggest Christmas show in Utah has arrived. But first, on Sunday, the First Presidency held their annual Christmas broadcast from the Conference Center in downtown Salt Lake City. Themes of the evening were focused on world peace, personal righteousness, and the joy that comes only through Christ. The beautiful music for the evening was provided by the Tabernacle Choir on Temple Square. From Geneva, Switzerland, Primary General President Sister Joy D. Jones spoke at the United Nations with other world leaders who are united in giving children in poverty a better life. Sister Jones reported on a partnership with Latter-day Charities in parts of Africa, which helped give over 36,000 children early childhood development activities. We are very grateful to be here with so many like-minded organizations. Well, it's finally here, the biggest Christmas show in town, featuring the Tabernacle Choir on Temple Square, and with special guests Kelly O'Hara and Richard Thomas. The show brings the talents of a 600-person cast, 360 choir voice, and 32 bell ringers. The performance will be from December 12th through the 14th and will be recorded and released on PBS and BYU TV next December. Last year's concert will be available December 16th on PBS. And now Latter-day News Temple Update begins with three new announcements of temple locations for Texas and Utah. The Orem Utah Temple will sit on a 16-acre lot off Geneva Road, and the Taylorsville Utah Temple will replace an existing meeting house that will be removed to make room for the new temple off 2700 West and 4700 South. Then in Texas, the McAllen Temple will rest on the corner of 2nd Street and West Trenton Road. Back in Utah, new renderings are revealed for the Salt Lake Temple renovation. In addition, during a media day held at Temple Square, other information was explained about the renovation process that will start this January and last over four years. The conference center will serve as the main visitor center with self-guided tours and a new film that explains more about this iconic temple. In our nation's capital, a Christmas tradition for over 40 years, J.W. Marriott Jr. and his wife invite diplomats and other honored guests to the Festival of Lights at the Washington, D.C. Temple. Elder Rasband, Mitt Romney, and other special guests enjoyed music, a live nativity, and beautiful Christmas lights that adorned the temple grounds. Other temples in construction that are out in the weather get weatherproofing as progress continues through the elements. The freezing weather in Winnipeg, Canada requires orange tarps to keep the brick layers and other materials warm. The skeletal structure of the Pocatello, Idaho temple is enclosed with heavy plastic as winter sets in. Then in Belém, Brazil, workers built a dome structure to cover the newly poured concrete from the rain. And finally, Latter-day News closes with more praise for a legend. ESPN revealed their top 150 coaches in college football history, making the list at 22 with 19 conference titles, 10 10-win seasons, and the 1984 national championship is, of course, BYU's Lavelle Edwards. Today, BYU football is played at home in a stadium that bears his name. 